Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your payment gateways to your system.io account. Hi, I'm Brandon, and if you get any value out of today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. So, the first thing that we need to do is obviously log into our system.io account. But what we're going to do over there is head over to the settings option. Down on the left hand menu is payment gateways. We'll go and select that. The first one that I will demonstrate to you on how to set up is your actual Stripe account. We go and select connect. This will open up a connection to Stripe. And in here, it's going to prompt you for an email address. If you already have a Stripe account set up, then what you would do is you would input that particular email address. In at this point and then select continue. If you don't have a Stripe account, just put in whatever email address you want associated with your Skype account and enter that in at this point. Once entered, go and select continue, enter in your Stripe password and select login. At this point, you will be sent a verification code. Once you've entered in your code and you've verified you, who you are, um, you can select the account that you would like to connect to system.io. Go and select connect. And then it'll return me back to the system.io after that. If you had not set up a Stripe account prior to establishing this connection, you would have been asked for either your personal or your company information at the time at which of creating your Stripe account. Provide that information and once completed, it'll return you back to system.io. For some reason, it's taken me back to the funnels page. We'll head over to settings, go back to payment gateways, and you'll see that my Stripe account has now been connected. Next up, I'm going to show you how to connect your PayPal account. It doesn't work quite the same way as the Stripe, but once again, we'll head over to the connect button. This is going to prompt us for a username, password, and signature. Now these are obtained from PayPal themselves. So you would actually have needed to have created your PayPal account prior to actually connecting your PayPal account. So all you do is you head over to PayPal, go and log in. Once logged into your PayPal account, you head over to your account or profile details. You select account settings. Account access should be selected by default. What you're now looking for is this API access. Go and select update. And then you will scroll down to, whoops. Yeah, you will scroll down to this NBP SOAP API integration, the classic option. Go select manage API credentials. You will then select request an API signature. Once you have read the license agreement and you and you agree to it, go select agree and submit. And this will then provide you with your API signature. This will be your username, your password, and your signature. You'll select show for each of those items, and then you'll head back to system.io account and input them at the username, password, and signature section. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and I'll come back to this video once that has been input. After selecting save, you'll see that it has successfully been saved. The next step that we have to activate in PayPal is our instant payment notification. So this is going to allow the communication between PayPal and system.io so that system.io knows whether the payment went through successfully or not. So we head back to PayPal. I can select done at that point. And if we scroll back up to our profile, go back to account settings and head down to notifications this time. And he has this instant payment notifications. We can go and select update. Once on this page, you'll head down to choose IPN settings. Here at this point, we need to enter a URL. This is obtained from system.io. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the help file that contains this URL in the description below. Just go and access that to make sure that you've got the most up-to-date information at the time at which you are creating this instant payment notification. So I go and paste that in over there. And what I want to select here is receive IPN messages enabled, and I'll go and select save. And now it'll tell me that the instant payment notification has been activated. I can either come and edit those particular settings at any time if I wanted to change those or actually turn it off if I was no longer going to want to use it. At this point, we can now head back to system.io. And if we refresh this page, We'll now see that our PayPal account is now being connected as well. Now there are four other payment gateways that you can go and connect to. You can obviously just read up, you can just read up on the help files if you're looking to implement any of those as well on your profile. So the last step that we need to complete in order for you to receive payment once someone purchases through your sales funnel is to head up to your profile settings and come and complete this page with all of your 
details. And once that is done, you just head over to the top, select save. And that is how simple it is to actually connect your payment gateways into your system.io account. And as always, if you got any value out of today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. And if you've got any questions, drop a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, have a great day.